When you first try out quizzes, you'll notice right away that it's very similar to Kahoot, and it is. But probably the biggest difference is the fact that the questions and the answer choices appear on the student's device instead of the teacher's. Um, this allows you to assign a quizzes as homework for the students and allow them to complete it um, repeatedly or outside of class time. Um, a lot of the rest of it is very similar. Here's the teacher side after I've logged into my account. I can search public quizzes and there's lots of them here as well, although maybe not as many as Kahoot yet. Um, here's my quizzes and so it has the quizzes I've created or saved to my account and I can start any of those. Here's where I create a new one. Uh, my reports lets me download past quizzes and even quizzes that I've left open as homework options. I can get those results and check on them later on. And so um, when I go ahead and go to some of my quizzes, let's go ahead and get one going here. Let's do this technology in the classroom. I have the option to play it live or assign as homework. I can also um, share that link, um, out, put that link on uh, Google Classroom or Canvas or some way so that students can remember how to get to it. I'll hit play live here. On the student end, they will also log into quizzes.com and then click in, instead of login, they'll join a game. Or alternatively, they could go to join.quizzes.com. Here's the game code. Um, I forgot to mention on the teacher end that these are the question settings. Whether or not you jumble the questions, jumble the answers, show the answers after each question, or show the review at the end. Um, you can turn these off and on as well, whether the leaderboard is showing, whether there's a question timer, um, whether the memes show, so let's turn off a couple of these, and whether there's music playing. Um, let's go ahead now and click proceed, get this quiz started so that we have the quiz code that we'll enter on the student side. Now they don't require a login, this can be good and not so good. If you do share, decide to share it on Google Classroom, they would be required, students would be required to use their Google accounts to sign in. So that's one way to track them if you wish to do so. Okay, and I'll enter my name here and join the game. And just like Kahoot, I can see how many students have joined this live game and I control when it starts. Now you'll notice the questions being showed on the student device as well as the choices, and we'll go ahead and choose one here. On the teacher board, I can see what each student has answered, whether they uh, got it correct or, wrong or incorrect. I can also um, see the leaderboard as well, but the students could be getting the questions all in random order, so in different order from their neighbors. Let's go a couple here that don't have points associated. I'm still seeing my rank. Um, on the leaderboard based on time and accuracy and I'm also seeing my um, feedback and what the correct answer is after each question. So that gives you uh, a sense of what it's like to be in a quizzes quiz. I'll go ahead and end this game now and I want to show you back on the main dashboard of quizzes that there is um, how you use the public quizzes. So if I were to search for um, some of the featured quizzes that are available or even one that's on a certain topic that I'm interested in, I can hover over the quiz and preview the questions on the side. Now I really like this because I don't have to go in and, and play the quiz or start the quiz. I can just get a quick sense as to whether or not this might match my needs. And then if I do choose one, let's choose this multiplying decimals. Um, I can play it live, however, what I would advise is to just duplicate it because by doing so, it'll save it into your My Quizzes and then you have the ability to edit it. So maybe I didn't want to use all the questions or maybe I needed to add in a question that would better match my um, students' needs. So that is able to be done within My Quizzes and then saved there as well. Great features, great options, kind of um, com combining the other two tools, um, some of the things we've seen, and that's quizzes.